Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import deposits from a text or Excel file directly into QuickBooks desktop using a data utility called Z axis. So what Z axis can do is take text file or CSV file containing all these deposits, process it, and then directly import that into your QuickBooks file and saving you many hours. So let's get a demonstration of that right now. So I've opened QuickBooks desktop and the company file that I want to import the deposits into. So just before I do that, let's have a look at a sample deposit type transaction and see what fields we're looking for here. So here is the bank account that the funds are being deposited into. Um, we also have a field here to record the customer, the from account. So this is what GL account we're going to record this deposit against and also the amount of the deposit as well. So that gives you an idea of what information QuickBooks will be needing to successfully create a deposit. So I'm going to switch to Z axis, click on QuickBooks desktop and make a connection to my QuickBooks desktop company file. Next, I'm going to click the import tab. I'm going to browse to the deposits that I want to import into QuickBooks. So this file that I have here is a sample test file that is a text based file that contains some sample deposit transactions that I'm going to bring into QuickBooks desktop. So what I'm going to do is first off create a mapping and that is between the columns in my import file and the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. So you see down here on this left hand side there are the QuickBooks fields that I can import into and I'm going to map those off against the columns in my import template which contains the data that we're going to be bringing in. So the ones marked in yellow are mandatory fields so we need to make sure that we have data for those. So I've mapped the fields that I'm going to be bringing in and I've also put in a constant so that's for a value that is not contained within my import file that I want to use on all transactions. So I've set the date. Now I'll give this mapping a name and click save and we can save that mapping so we can use it on subsequent imports. What you'll now see is only the columns that we're going to be importing and the fields that we can be importing into QuickBooks. We can make necessary changes within this screen to the data if we need to. So once we're happy with the data, then we can go ahead and import that directly into. So before we import, we have also some more advanced options around importing deposits. So we can have the ability to skip if the deposit already exists. We can override it um, and duplicate it if necessary. So once we're ready, we click on import. Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format and then begin the process of directly importing those deposits into your QuickBooks company file. So when it's complete, you'll get a, me a message to tell you that all have been successfully imported. If not, you will also get an error message to tell you why it wasn't imported and how to correct that to go back to import it again. So to check those transactions in QuickBooks, we can just click on this view button and it will take us directly to that deposit that we made into QuickBooks. Axis also has the ability to undo um, if you want to roll back the changes or roll back the transactions that were imported. Um, we can undo those tra transactions if we need to. So that's very simply how you can import deposits from a text or Excel file directly into QuickBooks desktop using Z-Axis.